Hey you guys, welcome and welcome back to Mom Jeans by Nutcase. It is yours truly, the Nutcase Case and Cole. And we are back again with the shenanigans. And today I got a few tips for y'all. If y'all wanna become content creators because this was actually in the comments, I think somebody asked me about tips and I can't find your comment to put it on the screen. So I'm sorry, but I think it's an important topic to talk about, especially because so many people wanna become content creators or wanna get into the content creation space or the influencer space or some type of creative endeavor where they showcase their abilities but I also feel like there's a lot of aspects about it that we really don't see as a creative person or as someone who's dreamy getting into it like you don't really realize what all comes with being a creative okay and I feel like that's kind of something that we need to talk about today so I figured that we would have a little conversation about it real quick be sure to like the video be sure to subscribe thank you guys so much for being here put your comments below and make sure you turn on your post notifications to all so you can be caught up every time I'm dropping game on y'all, okay? Every time I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, you guys, so if y'all are aspiring content creators and you want to get into some type of creative space, I feel like there's three main things that you need to know. There's three important foundational facts, in my opinion, that you need to know about content creation or about any type of creative work that you want to get into. Because it doesn't just have to be like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, things like that. I feel like this counts if you're a musician. This counts if you're some type of artist who's creating physical art. It counts for any person who is coming from a creative space who wants to basically project their vision out into the world. There are three really important things that you guys need to know. So we're gonna just start with the most important. Number one, what is your mission? What is it that you really wanna accomplish? What are your motives? What are your intentions? What are your goals for the content or artistry that you wanna create? That's the first thing that I I feel people have to really pay attention to before they get into any type of creative space is what is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? What are your motives? What is your mission? Because if these things aren't clear, then it's going to be very scattered when it comes to the way that you create. Even if you have a clear mission, even if you have a clear goal, it can be very difficult sometimes to center your thoughts. And that's something that I have expressed to you guys that I struggle with a lot. Calm down. Because there's so many thoughts floating into my mind and there's so many different nuances because I am a person who really appreciates nuance and understands nuance and there are certain situations that are black and white but there's a lot of things that are gray having a clear mission having a clear vision having a clear intention for the goals that you set or for the things that you want to create will help you kind of streamline the type of topics that you talk about or the type of music that you create the type of lyrics that you enforce and infuse with within your music and it'll just help you overall to be a little bit more focused on the end goal and not so much so to where you're distracted by the end goal, but it helps you to kind of have a guide or a step-by-step -step kind of manual in your mind of the way that you want things to play out. I also feel like it's important to set positive intentions for anything that you do that other people will consume or that you are projecting out to the world because it's going to determine the type of results that you get back. Like if your 
your intentions are not pure, if your intentions are just to get money or your intentions are to help a bunch of people before helping yourself or your intentions are to take advantage of people possibly in a negative way, that will affect the results of what comes back to you from whatever it is that you're creating. I've spoken about this several times because I feel like a lot of people who are creators and influencers aren't necessarily the best people to be doing the job that they do. They aren't really the best people to be taking advice from. They aren't really the best people to be listening to. They aren't really the best example for adults, not to mention children, but they're put in a front facing position when it comes to those different aspects. And I think people get into things for the wrong reason. Like for example, for me, I feel like I started creating content from a place of wholesomeness, from a place of authenticity. And I wasn't really exactly sure where I was going to end up. And I'm still not completely sure how everything's going to pan out. I'm going to be honest with you, but there's an overall goal that I feel like I have, which has always been to help people or to get people to realize that they're not alone in situations and to also help myself become more confident and more at peace with who I am, even in discovering who I am. So it's like, you can only plan so much. You can only do so much blueprint work for whatever it is that you want to create or do. But if you have a clear intention and you have a pure intention and your mission is set out to where you can understand the big picture path that you want to take with whatever you're creating, I feel like it makes it a lot easier for you and other people to understand your position or to understand your art. Now, the second thing that I feel like is really important to consider before becoming an influencer or a creator of any kind is whether or not you are confident. Are you insecure with what you're saying or what you're doing? Have you really taken into consideration the power of the mob that will be consuming whatever it is that you create? Because it's not always easy to know how that will affect you. When I say the mob, I mean the general public, the world, people, especially these days online are critical of everyone. Sometimes the comments that people leave and the things that people feel entitled to say are brutal. brutal. I've gotten death threats. I've gotten people basically saying that I should unalive myself. I've gotten people calling me Big Bertha and ignorant or stupid. I've got people basically saying that I'm a horrible mother, that I'm a horrible person. Like I've gotten some, the worst comments that you could think of, which a lot of them you probably aren't going to find because at one point I was deleting them, but now I really just don't give a <laughs> you can say what you want to say, but it don't change me, okay? But a lot of the comments that I was getting in the beginning for the things that I was saying, it really hurt me. Like, it made me feel like I was a person who was less than for some reason. It made me feel like what I was saying didn't matter. It really triggered my insecurities, like, on a deep level. And that's a part of the reason why I've struggled a little bit with this channel is because, oh my God, like, when I first started posting, I was so so taken aback by the things that people felt like it was okay to say. And I'll even, not only just with me, like whenever you go on social media, you will see people saying crazy shit. Like, I don't know where these people were raised. I don't know if they were born in a cave. I don't know if they were raised by wolves. I don't know what people's problem is these days, but people just feel like they're entitled to say and do whatever the fuck they want. And that's because we've created that type of dynamic within each other that I feel like is honestly really dangerous because it escalates into negative things that can actually happen in real life, face to face, face to face, okay? It, it turns into a problem, but if you, you are a person who wants to start creating content or doing something within a creative space where you produce art and distribute it to people in the public, you have to be prepared to deal with the mob because they are going to attack you. And if you do not have some type of self-esteem, discipline, boundaries, discernment, self-awareness, you will either be beaten down by these people or you could even be manipulated into becoming something or someone that you really don't want to be.
Okay, now let's move on to number three, you guys, because these are important. I feel like the first two pieces of advice are connected and intertwined with this final tip for you guys. The number three thing that I feel like you really need to consider before creating content or becoming someone who is in a creative space and distributes your art to people in the public is how devoted are you, right? How devoted are you? That's why your mission and your intentions are really important and your confidence confidence level is really important because those things are going to really determine how much energy, time, and space that you allow for whatever it is that you want to create, how much motivation you're going to have for what you create. Are you devoted? Do you have passion for what it is that you're saying or what it is that you're doing? Because without it, the consistency isn't going to be there, right? I feel like all of these things are important to having consistency when you create content, but the more devoted you are to your mission and the more confident you are about your position, I feel like the more passionate and motivated that you're going to be to actually be consistent with whatever it is that you create, especially on a place like YouTube. Like, I don't know. I feel like every platform that you go on, depending on the different aspects of algorithms and the different ways that things are being laid out, it's difficult to make a dent. It's difficult to make an impression sometimes. And I feel like on some platforms, it is easier than others. There are certain hacks that you have that you you can apply. But ultimately, I feel like it's just based on your timing and your motivation and how much you put into what it is that you do and whether or not you're listening to the calling within you to tell you if you're on the right track. Like a lot of people think that it's just hashtags or algorithms or thumbnails or titles when it comes to people being successful on YouTube. But I feel like it goes deeper than that when it comes to your convictions and when it comes to how consistent you are and devoted you are to what you do, it has to do also with what you feel like you've been called to do. It has to do with the flow that you feel like you're on personally in your life. If you're not devoted and you're not consistent and you slowly but surely fall deeper and deeper into complacency with your creation or you slowly but surely start to become less motivated, you won't be able to outlast the uncomfortable period of content creation or of being being an artist or a creator. Cause there is an uncomfortable period, especially with my experience on YouTube. There's a period of time that I'm actually currently in with this channel, but I have other channels you guys may or may not know about. Some of you came from those other channels. So thank you, I appreciate you guys. But I do have other channels on YouTube where I talk about other things, where I do other things. And there's a point that I've experienced in pretty much every single channel that I've created where you're just gonna be uncomfortable. You're just gonna be unsure of yourself. You're not really going to know exactly how things are going to go. And it takes a certain level of faith. The woman, all right. And that's why I mentioned the fact that it's really important to pay attention to yourself internally, like your internal compass as to how things are going in your life, because then you can determine whether or not the energy that you're putting in is worth you continuing or whether you may need to pivot. And like I said, that's why I feel that it's not just about the thumbnails or the titles or the hashtags or the gimmicks that people use to kind of go viral in these settings. It's more so about like your own internal, I keep saying the fuck word internal, but it is, it's about your own drive and ambition and the things that you feel like you're called to do that are going to determine the level of faith that you have, which is going to determine the level of devotion that you put into a situation and ultimately outline the amount of consistency that you're going to have when you create content. So overall, you guys, I just feel like if you want to become a content creator, do your thing, boo. I feel like everybody has a valid opinion on things to a certain degree. I do feel, you know, that everybody has this saying now where they're like, oh, take the microphones away. That's another mean comment that somebody left me. They were like, they need to stop selling microphones or something about microphones. But usually the people who are angry at me in my comments are like bitter, small-minded men and women. Like, honestly, it could be anybody. I get hate from men a lot more than women, but I have gotten my fair share of hate from women as well. So I don't know what it is really, honestly. People are gonna like you sometimes. 
people are not gonna like you other times. And overall, like me personally giving advice to you as an individual who may wanna become a content creator, it's like, you're not gonna be able to please everybody. That's why I feel like these three aspects are really important because if you know what you started it for, if you know what you're doing it for, if you're confident and you're not insecure with yourself and you're able to express yourself the way you feel like is best for you to get your point across, and if you have consistency and motivation and drive for what it is that you're doing, it's like you can kind of come to a point where you really give a fuck what people have to say about what you're doing. <laughs> We do not care. And if you come from a good place where that initial reason that you start is for a good reason and it's not hurting anybody, then you really could give a fuck what people have to say. No. Nope. So in my opinion, like if you wanna start a channel or if you wanna create some type of social media platform for yourself or you wanna do some type of artistry in your life where you're distributing it to the public, you gotta be firm in these things and you have to understand that it's more important for you to stay true to yourself, to stay stay true to your heart, to really focus in on what it is that you really want and understand that you're not gonna be able to please everybody. Everybody's not gonna be happy about the things that you say. Everybody's not gonna be happy about the things that you do. People are gonna have a problem even if you've tried your best to cover all sides and to cover all your bases. There's gonna be somebody who has a problem with what you do. And I really feel like if you are that person who's been hesitating to drop your work or to release your song or to start your YouTube channel. I hope this video motivated you because we need to have more people who are true and authentic to themselves in this world, actually in a focal point where others can see them and learn from them and have better examples of influence. Cause I'm, I'm just tired y'all. I'm really tired of the influences that we have right now. I feel like a lot of these quote unquote celebrities and influencers are trash. They categorize them as stars, but the real stars are the people who are just, you know, ready regular people out here trying to do their best in life and not hurt anybody in the process. And I feel like those are the people who should be put on a higher pedestal. Those are the people who should be admired and, you know, adored and looked up to more than these trash ass people who we currently have in the rotation of influencers at this time. So be encouraged, you guys do your thing, focus on what you want to do and stay positive and optimistic about what you can achieve when you create your content. I hope this helped you guys get in the comments let me know what you have to say about my particular comments on this topic let me know if there's anything else that you guys want me to talk about because i'd love to talk about the things that you guys want to hear don't forget to like the video subscribe turn on post notifications so you'll always be caught up when i post and i'll see you guys next time bye